see you snacks, baby. Oh, what up, party people in the place to be? It's your boy, C Snacks. At it again with my snack sweet tooth. Big shout out to everybody who be watching me in the, with the comments. I appreciate that. I do this for all the people who be trying to watch their calories and be like, no, I can't eat that. I gotta watch my points. No, man. Snack on. Snack if you bump. Well, snack if you bump. Well, snack if you snack, snack, snack if you bump. Uh. I, I don't know why I did that. Check it out what I copped right here. Ooh, you see that? Uh. You see that Butterfinger peanut cup? They're trying to buy it off a of Reese. They're like, you know what? We could do it too. You see, they, they got that little nutritious fact right there. 230 calories. 230 calories. That's a lot of calories right there. But you know what? I don't really care. Open it right down. You got to open it right down. You know what you be hating sometimes when you like rip, it open, rip open a wrapper, like say Snickers or whatnot, and they be having sweepstakes in there that you ain't even paid attention to till you open it and you see like a code. You be like, man, I probably won. And you like throw, threw half of it away. You know what I'm saying? The Butterfingers, they kind of bit off a of Reese's Cup, man. But I always like Butterfingers. I always like them because it's got like a like a different type of taste. Like, like the peanut butter, like toffee, whatever that is in the middle. It's a little different taste. I remember the, remember the Simpsons and Bart Simpson used to... um. How the, the Butterfinger joint, the commercials, man. That's when Simpsons, all my old school cast remember the Simpsons, man. That was the, that was the first original cartoon that with adult. Uh, I can't say that's the first one with adult humor because they had a bunch of other joints. Uh, here we go. We got to try this. You see the back? You know what I'm saying? They try to do it. Try to put the little cupcake holder just like they do on a peanut butter cup joint right here. You know what I'm saying? Let's break it. Let y'all can see in the middle of it. Ah. Uh, woo. You see, you still see the little... Butterfinger joint in the middle. Uh, 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 uh. Love and hate. Radio Raheem with the peanut butter cup. Uh. Alright. It's basically the same thing. They didn't change the flavor on it. This is the exact same thing. But I guess they made it into two little cups. And tried to charge you the same price for it. I'd rather... Like the long, the long tube is probably a little bit more with the regular bar. How y'all gonna talk about, that's crazy. How y'all gonna talk about new and it's the same thing. See, new and it's the same exact. You just wanna show off that you put it in a cup. Like, at least change the chocolate or something, man. Y'all corny for that. That's like, you got the same car. You just change the little hubcaps on and you just ride it through. You fronting. Like, come on, man. It's the, it's the hubcaps. I always like Butterfinger, so... Butterfinger get a four from me. Definitely all the time. A bit That's what I do when I go to the movie theater. How many of y'all out there be going to the movie theater and like smuggling your own snacks? The movie theater, they all got the same type of little snacks there. I like to bring my own little corner store snacks that y'all can't get. And I used to go to the movie theater with my son and we'll go to the store and rack up. And my son would eat the candy and throw all the wrappers all over the floor. I used to be mad because I'm like, yo, man. First of all, you're not supposed to come inside a movie theater with a Nike little book book bag on. You know damn well the snacks in there. He gonna throw it on all over the floor. I had to go pick it all up because, like, they could tell that like people are snacking in there. Yo, I remember I went to the movie theater one time and somebody brought in Chinese food in the movie theater and it smelled the whole movie theater and nobody kick them out. You know what I'm saying? That's just crazy. Don't be bringing in. Like food that got like a crazy aroma that'll mess with people. That kind of like pisses you off, you know? Don't do that. That's good. I'm going to uh, an audition, an early audition, and I walked past this uh, this candy store. It was all nice and bright, and I was like, candy? I looked through the window. They had all the little, you know, the clear uh, containers that be having in the movie theaters where you take the scoop. Some movie theaters has, like, you could like bag up your own candy and put it in the bag, and then they weigh it. Well, anyways, they had a setup. They had a setup just like that in the store, and I was like looking through the window like a little kid, like, oh my God. So I went in there. It's on 3rd Avenue downtown. It's called, big shout out to Dylan's Candy Bar right there. You see the, the, you know what I'm saying? Check that out, go on their little website. They got some official candies, like mad types of gummy beers and all that. They got their own uh, creative type of chocolate bar they had there. Um, I picked up a red velvet cake chocolate bar. You see that red velvet cake? crazy and a brownie batter chocolate bar There's different different way people open candy bar like some people that don't care they just rip it open me i got my little techniques on how to open certain candies because you know sometimes i don't 
I don't want to eat the whole thing, so you gotta like save it for later. You know what I mean? Keep it in the original package. I be doing like candy bars and candy and keep it in the original pack package like it's gonna be worth something in the future, like a comic book or something. It's just stupid. What I do is I open it, it's in the back. You see, always in the back. There's a way in the back you like pull it, separate the joint, don't go too crazy. You gotta go kinda kinda soft, you know what I mean? That's just how I do it. You know, open it right here through the back. Just like that. Flap it open. Some people do it. Boom. Like, like I pre-break it. See how it's broken already? I pre-break it inside the joint and it's already broken. And boom. It's almost like a little, you know what I'm saying? A little Dutch. Oh, you just roll it back up. Oh. Yeah. I do. Uh um. Yeah, so yeah, here, this is the chocolate. Uh, brownie batter right here this is it see they got a little pictures on it right there you can see it you know what I'm saying a Dylan's you know they got like it look like like the batter is in the middle you see that let me go ahead and try this well, that's crazy you can taste like the brownie batter in the middle of it of the chocolate yo this is good I like, you know, because certain chocolate bars be using cheap chocolate and just mess up the taste of the chocolate bar. They use pretty good chocolate right here. This is some rich chocolate with the batter. I could taste it in the middle. Mmm. Put it back in there. It really do taste like... <clears throat> like brownie batter in it. Like, that's crazy. That's dope right there. I got, I'm gonna rate this right now. This is this. I'm gonna give this a four. This will go good with some ice cream. Woo! The chocolate batty. You take that and melt it halfway, a little, just in the microwave for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You just eat it and be all the chocolate be all over your fingers. Eat it with some vanilla bean ice cream right there. Some vanilla. I like vanilla bean or sometimes rum and raisin. It's good. All right, now we're gonna try the red velvet. All right, boom. You see that? You see the middle, you see the little, I don't know what is that little cakes, little cake niblets in the middle. I think that's what that is. All right, I'm gonna try that. Yo, it tastes just like red velvet cake. That's crazy. And it with chocolate. Hmm. Hmm. Yo, this is banging right here, man. It almost say it's like I'm tasting the cake and the frosting all together. That's crazy. Yo, Dylan's man, y'all doing y'all doing y'all thug fizzle right there. Y'all doing y'all thug fizzle. This is good. Mm. 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 You know when chocolate's good, when you just lick your finger, like if you don't like, it, you just wipe it on a napkin. Well, some people just eat it anyway. Like, you know what? This is the last time I'm gonna eat it. Let me just clean off my finger. That's a that's a date, man. Bring a bring a chick. That's some old different stuff. Bring a chick to like a like a can, a big candy store because they got like a up and downstairs inside the dealers. I ain't go downstairs. They said that it's more old school candy, but I just wanted to do the chocolate bar, and all the chocolate bars were on that floor. So, Dylan's the red velvet. Belgian milk chocolate candy bar. Yeah, it's good. You got a four from me on both. It's your boy C Snacks. Peace.